In this video, I'll show you how to download the Texas Instrument Smart View calculator for your computer and also how to run it in Sandboxy in case you want to extend the life of that trial software that they give you. If you go to my website, siennamath.weebly.com, you can find all these directions under resources and then you scroll down to TI Calculator, click on that, and the links for both the TI Graph and Calculator for the computer. You can click on this. It will open up in a new window for you. You can click on TI Smart View Free Trial. And you can select uh, if you want the Windows version or the Mac version. I'm going to be using the Windows version and I'm not sure if Sandboxy has a Macintosh version so you can check that out for yourself if you have a Mac. But I'm going to be giving instructions for the Windows version. So download this to somewhere on your computer that you can find it. I've already downloaded it. And I'll also show you if you want to run this in this program called Sandboxy. Uh, this program's great because it can, one, allow you to extend free trial software, um, or you can use it if you are just testing out a program to see if you want to actually install it on your computer or not. Uh, you can also run your web browser in Sandboxy in case you want to surf the web and you don't want any websites installing anything on your computer. Um, so you can click Download Sandboxy, brings you up to this page, and you can just click Download, and you can pick where you want to download it from. You can say Download from this site, and it will download. So save that uh, to somewhere on your computer that you can find later. So the first thing I need to do is install Sandboxy onto the computer. I have it right here in this folder, which I've downloaded it to. I can double click on Sandboxy install.exe. It says, do you want to allow the following program to make changes? Yes. English is my language. Got to accept this license agreement. Destination folder, you can just keep that as your default or change it as necessary. I click install. And it says the installation is completed. I can hit next. It says, click next to install and activate the Sandboxy system level driver. So I can click next. And then it says Sandbox is installed on your computer. Click Finish. It says Sandbox has detected the following software application in your system. Click OK to apply configuration settings, which will improve compatibility with these applications. Um, so I'm just going to click OK to this. It says welcome to Sandboxy. Sandboxy runs your programs in an isolated environment. So these are just a brief tutorial and you can go through these steps if you want to. I'm just going to click close for this. Okay, and now Sandboxy control is now started on the computer and we can begin the process of trying to run the TI Smart View software in Sandboxy. So now when I install this on my hard drive, it's just going to install it in the sandbox and basically when I don't want it anymore um, it'll erase it from the sandbox and it'll be like it was never on my computer at all. So one way that you could run this file in here is that you could just drag and drop this into this default sandbox. So I just clicked it, dragged it over into this window, dropped it in there. It says select the sandbox in which to start the program or document and we're just going to use the default sandbox here. So I'm going to click OK. It says you have installed Sandbox more than 30 days ago. Personal use of Sandbox is permitted free of charge for as long as you wish. However, the free version will pause for a few seconds. So you could always use Sandbox as long as you want. It just paused for a few seconds for me because I've had it on my computer for a while. It says click close. Uh, click close this window and continue. So I do that. And now it's installing the TI Smart View into the Sandbox. And you see when I All right, it says, do you want to allow the following program to make changes? You could click yes. So I wanted to say before, when I run the mouse over these windows here, and this yellow border comes around here, it's just showing you that this program is now running in the sandbox. So that's how you can tell if a program on the computer is running in the sandbox or if it's actually running on your uh, actual computer. 
So I'm just going to click next, install it into this location, but it's really just going to install it into the sandbox. Click next and install. This error message, when I've done this before, this has come up before, messages from Sandbox. Um, you can just click close to this. I don't think it's going to affect any performance here. So I'm just going to click close. So the TI Smart View software is still installing. And now the software is installed, so it says click the finish button to exit the system wizard. And you could also click here, launch TI Smart View, if you want to launch it when you finish. So I'm going to do that just to show you. Uh, so I click finish. And now it launched the TI Smart View software, and when it opens up, You can see it says you have a 90 day uh, trial here. Do you have a license? I'm gonna say no. I want to continue with my trial version. Click next. Country, USA, I'm gonna accept the license, hit okay. And now here is my TI Smart View software, my graphing calculator, and you can use this as it has all the functionality of the TI-84 Plus C. Uh, again, if I highlight this window here, you can see it's in the yellow box, which means it's running in the sandbox. And you can keep this in the sandbox up to this 90-day trial before you sort of delete everything from the computer. Uh, you have to delete all of the contents from the sandbox before the 90 day trial is up and then reinstall it afterwards in order to keep using the software after the 90 days. Um, so you don't have to continually install this each and every time you open up the program. Um, so for instance I could do file exit here And it says the following files are eligible for immediate recovery and can be removed and can be moved out of the sandbox. I'm just going to hit close. If you ever want to run the program again, it's still in the sandbox. It'll be there until you delete all the contents from your sandbox. If you want to view the files and folders that are in your sandbox now, you can go to view and click on files and folders. And if you look at all files and folders, this is all the files and folders that were installed basically in the sandbox as if they were on your computer. All of these files here, these would have been installed in your registry files, uh, which show TI basically how long you've been using the software. So eventually we will delete all the files in here, but if you ever want to use this again, you can just go back to where you said you were going to install this on your computer and we said well we're going to install it in the C drive under program files and our executable file is just right down here so if you ever want to run the program again you can just double click on this 
Actually, I'll right click and say run sandboxed. And now it's going to run the program again in the sandbox and I don't actually have to install it all over again. I'm going to say no, continue with my trial as usual. Hit next. And now it opens up again, although a lot quicker. And you don't have to install it over again. When you do want to finally delete everything from the sandbox, I can close this. I'm going to close this. And if you want to delete everything from the sandbox, you can go to Sandbox, the default sandbox where we installed this. And you can say Delete All Contents. So once you delete all the contents, it's going to say there are a bunch of files here, a lot of folders. Are you sure you want to delete all the contents? And I'm going to say yes, delete all the contents which it did. Now if I click on this, it shows that there's no files and folders here. So according to TI, you've never installed this software on your computer at all. So that's how you can continue the free trial of software. Um, if you want to do that, you can also use Sandbox for different things and you can read more about that on their website. Um, and again, I'll have more information. There's some step-by-step -step instructions on the website here if you click on this directions it opens up this website and explains to you basically step-by-step -step details of what I just told you